He's just the sweetest person that I know. Zach Bybee was born five years ago, the youngest of three boys. Oh, I love this little Zachy. He entered the world with the same challenges of any newborn, needing a parent to show him the way, how to eat, crawl, walk, and talk. And then, at nine months... I was hoping life would be normal, but my mommy instinct was telling me there's something special about this little boy. Zach's mother looked at the doctor and said... He's not even close to sitting up. We literally had to drop formula, you know, drop by drop into his mouth. We'll get him some help in these different areas, and hopefully he'll speed up with the other kids. But life was about to change forever when they got the results of an MRI. The MRI basically showed that he had had a stroke at some point, probably before he was born. His brain didn't get enough uh, blood flow. Doctors told them their third baby boy had cerebral palsy, a neurological condition that permanently affects body movement. I'm wondering, will he ever walk? She kind of just kind of was kind of sobbing and I was like, he'll learn, he'll learn. I would lay in bed and say to Kevin, um, is he going to be okay? Is he going to be okay? And every night Kevin would say, there are certain things we can control and certain things that we can't. It was the loss of a dream that I had. Um, you know, I dreamed of a healthy child. What they didn't realize is that Zach, a child who was mentally developing into a little boy on the inside, was about to teach them great things. There you go. Good job, Zach. Their Zach, despite his physical challenges, had great determination. I think most kids, if they had this deficit, would be extremely frustrated and irritated by it. And, and Zach has this amazing ability to work around that. Four years of caring. Yay, Zach. Good job. Yay. Intensive therapy at St. Luke's The Children's Spot. He doesn't get a spring break. He doesn't get a summer break. When you have the support around you, it's easy to have that hope. They have been our angels. I mean, they've helped him do things that we didn't know if he would ever be able to do. Zach can now eat, walk, and he thinks... And your brothers are waiting for you. <laughs> much like... I loved you so much. Other five-year-old boys. He is smarter than a lot of kids his age. Now you see him out there, you know, lapping people on the on the trike and on the bike. It's just absolutely unbelievable. And they don't see what the child can't do. They believe in the child's potential. His parents just recently heard Zach call them mom and dad. Even though he is still finding words, Zach has communicated a transformative message. He teaches you to never, ever give up. Kiss. <laughs> He's incredibly happy. He's the happiest kid I've ever met. Life isn't a race, just like to keep going. And I wouldn't wish for another younger brother. No offense, okay? I don't mind. We wouldn't be who we are without him. And our big brothers have empathy that they wouldn't have without Zach. Now, can I get a kiss? Thank you. He's really my hero. Yeah.